All right, this weekend I went and see Civil War at the movies. Here is my review of it. Here are some thoughts about the movie. Uh, let's go. This movie is written and directed by Alex Garland. Same guy who made Ex Machina, which is a movie I really loved. Um, basically, what this movie is about is a civil war that breaks out um, in, the U in the United States. And uh, the movie tracks three journalists um, on their way to Washington, D.C. to interview uh, the president, who was played by Nick Offerman. And on the way there... All kinds of bad shit, crazy things happen because, like I said, a civil war bro broke out in the U.S. Um, there's armed militia everywhere. There's uh, different factions that are at war with each other. Now, this movie has some pretty gruesome, violent stuff in it. There's a lot of violence. There's a lot of gun violence. And w one of the most disturbing things about the, the movie is not even something that you see. It's something that you hear. It's the sound. The sound of the weaponry and the gunshots is is incredible. There's one scene in particular where after there's a gunshots going off, it goes mute. You don't hear anything in the movie. And all I could think about is, all right, we're going to get ready for a jump scare now. So you're tense. I was, I was tense throughout this whole movie uh, because... Like I said, it deals with dark subject matter, but also the sound effects of the weaponry is, is, is something truly spectacular. The cinematography in this movie is tremendous. The acting is great. Everyone in this cast is superb. Kirsten Dunst is great as always. Ragnar Mora, Kaylee Spenny, uh, Scene Stealer also. And Jesse Plemons has a small role in this. Maybe it's about five, six minute part. But it's, it's, it's a scene that everyone is going to talk about as soon as they're done watching this movie. It's, as always, Jesse Plemons brings it. Every movie that this guy is in, it's his line delivery. That's the thing. His line delivery... It's the it, it, you know, I'm not surprised there's all kinds of memes about his, his performance in... Um, if you've seen the movie, you know what scene I'm talking about right here. It, in fact, here's a little bit of trivia if you don't know already. He wasn't even supposed to be in this movie. It was a last minute thing. In fact, his wife, who's in the movie, Kristen Dunst, suggested that they should put uh, Jesse Plemons in there. And what 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 luck we have that we got to have him in this movie. This It's really, really intense. Brutal, actually. And like I said, his line delivery, top, top notch. Can we get more Jesse Plemons, please? Can I see? I want to see this guy uh, get lead roles. I want. There should be a law, okay? Every movie should have Jesse Plemons. That's the, that's. You know, if I was going to be president, uh, that's what I would run on. I would run on uh, that Jesse Plemons has got to be in every movie, okay? And if you disagree with me, st start a civil war, okay? Now. As far as the sides go in this movie, like which side is fighting which side? Where it's 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 not given to you that obviously, okay? It's not like you have one side where they're all wearing MAGA hats and versus the other people. It's given to you in a more subtle way. A lot of people have been criticizing Alex Garland for making this movie and not uh you know being vague with the politics, but he's not being that vague. It's it's just that it's not in your face. At no, at no point in the movie does someone look in the camera and say, Hi, I'm a Republican. Or, Hi, I'm a Democrat. It's not like that. It's, it's Just watch the movie and pay attention. I know media literacy is at an all-time low these days. But the politics are there. There are sides in this movie. It's just not... You don't get hit on the head with it like a hammer, okay? Which I appreciate, actually. And I think uh, it works for this movie. But basically, what this movie uh, is really about is about journalism. But really, what this movie is about and what the message is, it's all about journalists, okay? And how, how, how vital they are and how important they are and how much we need them. 
And there's a there's discussions in this movie of trying to get the right shot and is it is it okay? Is it okay to take a picture of someone that's that's dying? Um should you as a journalist intervene or do you just take the picture or do you do you have to try and and save them? What what do you do when all these questions come up uh throughout this movie? So So basically that's what the movie really is about it's about journalism um but it's a very very well made movie i i recommend watching it it's intense it's uh, it's exciting it has adrenaline uh great acting performances great cinematography the sound design is tremendous uh it's shocking actually the gunshots that you hear in this movie are uh, they rattle your bones all right your bones are going to be rattled When you walk out of the movie theater and people are going to ask you how was that movie you're going to say my bones they're rattling. So Simon says go watch this movie and prepare for your bones to get rattled.